and welcome to the Domino Stand at Label Expo 2019. My name's Louise Adcock, I'm the Global Product Manager for the N-Series range and I'm joined here today with Keith, who will be helping me to demonstrate this press that you see behind me. Now there are two aims to this presentation. The first is to provide you with an introduction to the N610i and the second, the one that I'm really excited about, is to announce the European launch of our new UV95 food compliant packaging ink set. So, let's look at the press in more detail. The configuration that you see today is a reel-to-reel -reel configuration. And the press is a modular system. It's made up of three sections. The first is the unwind with media preparation area. The second is the, the print engine itself. And the third is the rewind. And you can see that Keith is already printing his first job. He's printing soup labels and you can see the seamless colour change and the SKU change taking place. So let's move back to the unwind because I'd like to talk to you more about media. Now this press is capable of handling many different label stocks ranging from coated paper, polyethylene and polypropylene. For the purpose of this demonstration we're using polyethylene. As the media travels from the unwind it comes up into the media preparation section and it hits a splicing table. We then have a web guide. We then have a dual sided web cleaner and then Corona treatment before the web then enters the print engine itself. Now Keith is kindly opening the doors here so we can take a little look inside. And the first area that the web comes to is a nip roller. On the out feed of the print engine, you have a second nip roller. And what this means is that we can provide precise tension within the actual machine itself. The web then comes up and hits the imaging arch. And this is where our print bars are. The first set of print bars that the web comes to is our double bar white. And our double bar white is capable of two things. The first is being able to print at a silk screen like finish at over 70% opacity. The second is the fact that we can print textures. This means that you can print embellished labels which offers additional value to brand owners. Now after the two double bars, we have an LED pinning lamp. This enables us to gel the ink, allowing for the overprinting of the remaining colors. Now the configuration of this machine is a seven color configuration. However, the press is available as a four color, as a five color, as a six color, and as you see here today, a seven color press. With our four color configuration, CMYK, we can print over 70% of the Pantone range. With the addition of orange and violet, we can print up to 92% of the Pantone range. This enables us to print common brand colors, such as Reflex Blue, and our ability to print spot colors actually reduces ink consumption. Now, after the black bar, we have our second LED pinning lamp. What this enables us to do is control the flow of the ink, and this is absolutely critical when printing fine fonts. The web path then leaves the imaging arch, and Keith's just gonna raise this safety barrier, where we hit our chilled roller and GEW curing lamp. This enables us to handle medias that are very sensitive to heat. The web path then travels through to the second nip roller, out of the print engine, and to the rewind, where we have a fully printed roll of labels that have been printed with our new food packaging compliant UV95 ink set. Now, seeing as we're talking about UV95, I'd like to tell you more about this ink set, ink set starting with compliance. Now, UV95 is compliant with UPA Good Manufacturing Practices, otherwise known as GMP, with all materials used listed on the Swiss Ordnance List. UV95 has been developed in line with Nestlé's guidance on food packaging inks and is fully compliant with UPA exclusion policy. UV95 is a non-CMR ink set and subject to migration status, UV95 can comply with the European Union's plastics regulation. Now when you're compliant with the above, the main aspect that you need to be concerned about is migration. An appropriate packaging barrier must be in place. So let's talk about packaging barriers in more detail. Now the packaging material plays a critical role in the success of a food packaging compliant ink set and the use of a suitable barrier may mean 
that a food packaging compliant ink set can be used for food packaging applications. Now there are two types of barrier. We have an absolute and then we have a functional. So let's talk about absolute barriers in more detail. Food packaging compliant inks are suitable for use in food packaging applications with no further testing if an absolute barrier is present. Now examples of absolute barriers are metal cans and glass bottles. The ink cannot migrate through that substrate at all and there's no requirement for migration testing. With regards to a functional barrier, food packaging compliant inks may be suitable for, the, for use in food packaging applications if a functional barrier is present. However, migration testing must be undertaken to prove that no migration occurs. Now at Domino, we complete migration testing within our own facilities and common materials such as PET can act as a suitable functional barrier. However, it's critical that migration testing is completed. Let's talk about migration in more detail. Now to use the term low migration for UV inks can be misleading as they hold a lower viscosity to UV inks. Just because an ink is promoted as low migration doesn't mean it won't migrate and it's necessary to confirm that the packaging ink does not migrate through the packaging materials being used. Now at Domino, we develop food packaging ink sets that are migration compliant. That's important, there's a big difference. An UV95 is suitable for applications outside of food. It has excellent adhesion, flow and abrasion properties. Why is compliance so important? Well, it's important for consumer safety. And compliance, when we're developing ink sets, is at the heart of everything that we do. So Keith is now sprinting his second job. Keith's second job consists of a range of gin labels, and also he's printing some industrial labels, he's printing some car wash labels. What this demonstrates is the flexibility of UV95. It's not just suitable for food applications, it's suitable for applications outside of the food sector itself, and that's due to the properties that it has as an ink set. One of the things that I wanted to highlight are Domino's capabilities in terms of services. We have over 700 field service engineers and experts ranging from colour management to project management. We also have a digital solutions programme and our digital solutions team are here today. This programme means that we can deliver customised and bespoke services for our customers ranging from looking at how we can make their manufacturing facilities more efficient, assisting them in being more profitable and even helping them access new sectors. If you have any further inquiries, please do visit our website. Thank you very much.